The Conserva in Ferndale is hosting their first ever holiday art market. So tell us about what you do. So I make earrings um, out of shrink plastic. I try to take um, stuff from the 80s and 90s. Um, that's where I, you know, I was an 80s baby and then into a 90s kid. So I like to be reminded of old shows and I like to remind other people of stuff they may have forgotten about like um, Wayne's World. I've got Rose from the Golden Girls. Um, and then I also make coffee mugs, um, also pop culture related. Got the Golden Girls and some Stranger Things that's current. We have 12 artists that are going to be here. Some uh, that are seasoned vendors and have done a lot of these shows before. Mm -hmm. And then uh, some are new artists that have never exhibited their work oh, before too. That. So um, everything from <laughs> soap to jewelry to fine art to candles. We're going to have something for everyone. And tell us about the display you have here. Oh, this is all of my artwork. Um, I take apart old vintage machines like cash registers and typewriters and things like that, and then I rework it into um, really wearable jewelry. Um, and then I also do fine art photography. So um, I print things onto uh, metallic paper and then also onto canvas. But some of these pieces are kind of neat because they really do have um, a lot to do with Detroit. Um, this piece here in particular, those rods and that little gear on there, um, those are from the Studebaker Car Factory. That was probably my best find I've ever come across. Um, they came in these old little jars that said, um, labeled like car number 55. And so I reworked it um, and added a little amethyst to it. And that's probably one of my favorite pieces because it's just so unique. And why do you think it's so important to have markets like this? Oh, because you're supporting local artists that make a living doing this. And you can also buy directly from the makers themselves, which is really neat. 